Hey, it's Wesiana. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Today, I'm going to be walking you through my work from home desk setup. And just a little context before we get started. I am currently living in a two bedroom in law suite. And originally when we moved back to San Francisco after New York, we needed a two person work from home setup since both of us were gonna be working from home. And since Alvi is a recruiter, he spends most of his days on calls and talking to people. I spend most of my time writing, thinking, ideating, and also recording. So it didn't really make sense for us to be in the same space and share an office. In addition to the fact that I am a plant who needs a lot of light to function properly and this is the only room in our entire space that has a very large window with natural light for at least part of the day. So that's how I ended up here with a giant bed and army of stuffed animals behind me in most of my videos. Now because of where I'm situated, the amount of space I have to work with is pretty small. I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean but there's maybe like 18 inches of space between the desk and the bed right now. So I just thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys how you can make your own workspaces cozy and aesthetic and dare I say almost Pinterest worthy even if you don't have a lot to work with. And if you are interested in anything that I feature in this video today, I will have everything linked in the description box below. Now enough talking and let's get started. So as I just mentioned, my desk is located in the bedroom over in front of the window because your girl needs sunlight. I've mostly claimed this side of the room as mine and for this wall, I really wanted to make a more cohesive art wall, but every time I try to plan something like that, I end up procrastinating because I spend all my time figuring out how to arrange it perfectly. So this time around, I I've just been slowly picking up items and adding them organically. It hurts my INTJ soul, but I think it looks okay so far. Over here is my wall mount for my AirPod Maxes. I know a lot of people use T-stands, but because I'm limited on desk space, I figured this would work better, and it also acts as a nice decoration, I guess. So this is how much room I have between the desk and the bed. It barely fits my chair, but luckily these armrests go up, so when it's the evening, I can actually just push this in, and I'll have more space to access my bed. One of the keys to making your space feel cozier and more relaxing is to add a lot of plants, so that's why I have a bunch of them here. I think my favorite is probably this corner one, which is growing downward beautifully, and it makes me feel a little more relaxed when I open up my email to find yet another job rejection. For some reason, I get really attached to the same mug for months at a time, and right now, my pick is this Thailand Starbucks mug that I picked up in Bangkok. And yes, I am still using the same Merry Christmas coaster, but it's been long enough now that I think we can just consider it now ironic decoration. Now again, I don't have a ton of open desk space, so Grumpy Cat is really the only non-pragmatic item on here. And since my desk also doubles as my nightstand, I have my chargers here as well. I recently got into mechanical keyboards. I haven't built my own yet, but I do really love this one from Logitech. Here's a little keyboard ASMR for you. And if I'm being honest, the main reason I picked this up was because I wanted this cloud wrist rest. I have another wrist rest over here for my trackpad. The reason I use a trackpad is because I do a lot of designing and editing. I am mostly a digital note taker, but I do like having a little sticky notepad here. Please don't pay attention to the math equation. I had to do this for an IQ test and I'm pretty sure I failed. This is my main monitor. It's from Dell and it's adjustable. And over here, I also have my MacBook. This usually functions as a second screen for my Notion and my calendar. There's always a ton of cords plugged into here. It's mostly hard drives. This is my main hard drive, and if you pick this up, you can actually see a little Snorlax sleeping on top of it. This laptop stand is also adjustable. This is what my portable SSD drive looks like. I keep most of my videos on here. And yes, I'm using a plant for cord management. A lot of people ask me about this microphone. It is the Blue Yeti in white, and I like to take it over here when I'm recording voiceovers for videos. Then I put them back in timeout because I don't have space. I recently got this lamp for free. It's actually perfect for my desk because it barely takes up space and you can adjust the brightness and the yellow cast for evening. Under my desk, you'll see a great example of cord management as well as a footrest because I'm a very small human. I do have an iPad Pro and I like to store it right here underneath my plant. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but it's working for now. I do have two drawers. This one holds all of my stationery, my stickers, washi tape, and then in the second drawer, I have my journal, pens, passport, some cash, and you know, scissors, just random things. I also picked up this $10 drawer system from Target. I haven't really organized it that well, but a lot of my night stuff is in here. Again, my desk doubles as a nightstand, so we see some earplugs, my old glasses, my night guard, and just all that good stuff. In this next drawer, we have more random crap that I probably don't need, including these sexy LASIK goggles. And in the final drawer is more cords and some books. 
Because my water bottle is ginormous, I like to keep it on the floor next to me, as well as a stack of books that I keep for reading before bed. I'm actually reading the Daily Stoic every morning, so that's here. And next to my desk setup, I have this little drawer system. So on top of it, I keep this army of Hello Kitties and a bunch of other little toys that I picked up over the summer. I also have my jewelry box here, my perfume and some hair accessories, as well as the rest of my books up on top. Alexa, turn on bedroom lamp. If you watch any of my other videos, you'll notice a purple cast in the background and that comes from this lamp. It comes in handy because I only have west facing windows and we don't really get a lot of sunlight past the morning. I'm definitely not overlooking the Eiffel Tower or anything, but it's good enough. You know, it gives me something to look at while I'm working all day. And that is my slightly chaotic, somewhat aesthetic and mostly realistic desk tour. So as you can see, there is a lot you can do no matter what you're working with, but your physical space is only part of the equation and your digital space is equally as important. And if you wanna learn more about how I organize my digital life, you can watch this video next.